What's up guys, welcome back to another video. Hope you guys are doing well and healthy out there. And I know I have not been uploading many videos. As you guys know, if you watched my last video, I had tonsillitis and I couldn't really eat for about like two weeks and it was terrible trying to swallow. Uh, if you've had tonsillitis, you guys know that feeling really sucks. Even trying to eat soup was painful. So it took me a little bit to recover off that. Also, I went to Turkey. I don't know if I uploaded that video yet before this one, but if I did, you guys know why I went to Turkey. If I didn't, you guys will see in the next video. So it's been a pretty busy month for me, but we're gonna try to get back on the track of uploading videos. Right now we're in Orlando. We went to Halloween Horror Nights. We went to Islands of Adventure, which was super fun. And today, as you guys can read in the title, we're gonna be going to the biggest McDonald's in the United States. It might be the biggest McDonald's in the entire world. I don't know if that's an actual fact, but it might be. So the reason I'm excited about going to this McDonald's is because they just don't have the regular menu. They have other things. And I read online, you might, I think pasta, they have pizza, they have waffles. I'm not sure if the waffles are gonna be available or if it's only a morning thing, but I'm really hoping that it's gonna be available. And I had a friend, Ricardo Corbucci Eats went there yesterday and he told me he was not allowed to film in there. I'm gonna try to film in there to show you guys what it's like. There's an arcade in there and I'm not sure what else, but I'm super excited to be going there and experiencing it. But with all that said, let's go ahead and visit the largest McDonald's in the United States, possibly the world. But before we go, we got puppies. No, 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 come stay with me. Hey, Oreo, Oreo, Amor, come on, come on. Hi, come on, come on, hi. Here's the girls, there's the girls, yay. Hi, hi, hi. They've been having a blast. Oh, and Reese's. Hi, Reese's. You guys gotta get your puppy fixed. No, they love me more. Yay. Okay, so now we go to McDonald's. So we made it to the largest McDonald's in the US and this thing is massive. And I'm wondering if, you know, this like, I don't know, four story building in the front is all playpen or play place. If it is, that is insane. And we're gonna find out in just a second. But again, I don't know if we're gonna be able to film in there. So I'm gonna try to be like a ninja about it. And before we continue today's video, I'd like to thank the sponsor of today's video, Scentbird. So the holidays are coming up and you've probably been looking for something to gift for your friends and family. And maybe some of those friends and family are stinky here around. Consider giving them a Scentbird subscription. They probably need it. Scentbird is a fragrance subscription service that gives you the opportunity to shop from over 600 brands from perfumes and colognes with a lot of unisex options and with a flexible subscription so you can skip months without penalties. With Scentbird, you can try new designer fragrances every month so you can pick out what you really want. There are no surprises. This month, I have three of my fragrances, which come in these cool little bottles. I really like these because it twist top and you can just go, ooh, that smells really good. I went with Mercedes, Le Jardin, and Versace. Just one or two sprays is enough for me, but I'm really happy with my fragrances. And with each fragrance, you get a 30 day supply so that you can try out the fragrance before committing to a full bottle for just a fraction of the price. Also, it's good to know what you like before spending the money on expensive colognes. You can choose between a three, six, or 12 month subscription. As a gift, it'll be sent to your recipient's email. And if a gift set is more their thing, Sempert has really great perfume and cologne sets filled with fan favorites such as Gucci, Dolce & Gabbana, and tons more designer brands you know and love. So make sure to use my coupon code for 30% off your first month. It's just $11 for your first month and now available in Canada. Huge thank you to Sanford. Thank you guys and back to today's video. So we're looking at the menu and one of the things here that I'm super happy about is they have all day breakfast because of the McDonald's at my place does not have that. But they have a build your own omelet. They have a Belgian waffle. I'm gonna get all of these new things that I've never seen before and a ham and cheese French toast. And I do see if you go to Sandwich and Mills, what I'm really also looking forward to is this build your own pizza. That looks super delicious. You have build your own pasta, which I'm gonna go ahead and get that. 
And as far as anything else, I don't know if there's anything new, but I'm obviously gonna get some other things too. And over there is a little spot where they build a pizza with a brick fire oven. And then over there, they actually have cakes here and some ice cream over there. So we're just gonna get a smorgasbord of stuff. $106.85 worth of McDonald's. Let me see your wallet. Oh, so cute. The best wallet ever? That's for you. My camera person. Ah. Gracias. Let's take a peek at this pizza. Don't get mad at me, guys. Oh my gosh, a ham and pineapple pizza. And it's thin crust. This is the type of pizza I really like. All right, we're good. Muy bien. All right, guys, so we made it back to the place I'm staying at in Kissimmee, Florida. So we're about 25 minutes away from the actual McDonald's, which isn't too far. But as you guys can see in front of me and you guys can't see everything, we have a lot of McDonald's new items or not new items, but the items that are available at the largest McDonald's in the U.S., such as this beautiful ham and pineapple pizza. I love ham and pineapple on pizza. So we have some of these breakfast items. Well, this is pasta, so that's not breakfast. We have cheesecake, a chocolate cake, and then we got some classics, a Big Mac, a chicken sandwich. You guys know I love me chicken sandwiches. We got an apple fritter and we have a sausage McGriddle and some fries. And these fries, let's see if they're still any good. Just a little cold. And we have a McFlurry that is, let's say, completely melted, but it's still good. And this McFlurry is a Chips Ahoy McFlurry. It's a limited item. Um, I don't know if I've ever, no, I have never had a Chips Ahoy McFlurry. Let's go ahead and get right into this. I have the pizza in front of me. I'm gonna go ahead and try a few slices, but I really wanna get into these breakfast items right there. This is going to be, oh, you're in the shot. <laughs> you're in the shot. I'm sorry. <laughs> Can you zoom in on it? Oh, yeah. Okay, yeah. But we're gonna go ahead and fold this. And uh, for the first time trying pizza from McDonald's. That pizza isn't bad. I would like it in the oven just a tad bit more. Get a little bit of a charred bottom. Nonetheless, this is a really good pizza. If I didn't know it was from McDonald's, which is still bizarre to me that it's from McDonald's, I would have never known this is McDonald's pizza. And I don't know if they have pizza anywhere else at any other McDonald's. It might be just exclusively in the Orlando McDonald's. So we finished half of the pizza. I'm gonna put this to the side and continue with this a little later. We're gonna go ahead and get into the Belgian waffle that's exclusively at this McDonald's as well. I don't know where to put this. Right there for now. Now this Belgian waffle, you can customize it, by the way, at the McDonald's. You can customize pretty much everything on the tablet that you order off of. But this has blueberries, strawberries, I think that's strawberries, and it has banana as well, the whipped cream on top of it. And you know what, I'm just gonna use my hands like this and try it there, but yeah, pretty cool. That's actually really good. And I think it's like the perfect mixture of like fruits on a Belgian waffle. Hmm, very good. <laughs> and we are done with this. Another item I would never know that was from McDonald's had I not known it's from McDonald's. I guess I should just kind of destroy this McFlurry. Let's move this. This is what we need to go with. French toast sandwich. In this French toast sandwich, ham, egg, and cheese on French toast. And they do give you a side of syrup, so we're definitely gonna use some of that. And by the way, my experience at the McDonald's was actually really good. All the employees are really nice. They actually helped me with the kiosk trying to um, order, so um, yeah, I had a really good experience. Now onto the French toast. We're just gonna dunk it like so. Bada bing, bada boom. Here we go. Mm. 
First of all, I love French toast, but putting it on a sandwich with ham, love ham with cheese and in syrup, that's like a combination that you can't lose with. Nine out of 10. And I totally forgot to check out the arcade. I cannot believe I forgot to check that out. But luckily, my camera person um, got footage of that. But for me, I wanted to check it out. Maybe play a game or something like that. If they have a claw game. I don't know because I didn't go in there. I think I was too focused on getting the food. So shout out to you. Um, we have an omelet and then we have the pasta. This pasta is pretty big. For pasta, I went with some ravioli. What is this? Is this bread? They give you bread in the pasta. That is pretty neat. What kind of bread is this? Like garlic bread? Hmm. So we went with ravioli and you do have the choice to go with spaghetti, little macaroni noodles, ravioli, which is the one I chose. You also get to pick the meat that you use for the pasta. And I went with bolognese because I love bolognese and you get to choose toppings and things like that. I think I put some jalapenos in here. Let's go and try one of these raviolis. Mm. Spicy. It is a bit unusual getting pasta at McDonald's. And it's another item I would have never known from McDonald's. The ravioli is great. And I wanna see what's exactly in this ravioli. I think it's maybe cheese. Correct, there is cheese inside of the ravioli. Overall, if you're getting it from McDonald's, I think that it's, uh, I think it's, I think it's good for McDonald's, damn it. And I'm gonna eat it now. Done. And now moving on to this omelet. I think I went a little crazy for that pasta. I think I put everything that you can put in the pasta, in the pasta. And I think I did the same thing for the omelet. Cheese, sausage, ham, spinach, jalapenos, tomatoes, everything. So this omelet would actually be really good, but I think the cheese on it, I don't know what kind of cheese, kind of tastes like gorgonzola cheese or like a blue cheese, but I don't, that wasn't on the menu. I just, I, I can taste the weirdness of that. Now we're gonna go with some of the classic stuff. I'm feeling it already. We have a classic spicy chicken sandwich. And for some reason on the menu, it had the label new. This isn't new though, but it is a chicken sandwich and I'm in love with chicken sandwiches. <laughs> done with that. You done? No, 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 not done, almost done. And I don't really need to say anything about the chicken sandwich. I've um, eaten so many chicken sandwiches before and the McDonald's chicken sandwich, you know, it's a McDonald's chicken sandwich. I don't even want to eat a Big Mac at all. But because being in McDonald's, the McDonald's of all McDonald's, you have to get a Big Mac. We're gonna go ahead and finish this. <laughs> so we pretty much almost finished everything. And we have two more items that are new. Um, we have this cheesecake. I've been wanting to get in since getting this. And this looks like it's just a classic cheesecake. So the actual cheesecake, this part tastes pretty much like any other cheesecake, but that crust, I'm not a fan of. I don't even, it doesn't even taste like crust. I don't know, it's not a fan of it. And for our next cake, I think this is like a peanut butter chocolate cake. And this thing looks, it looks delicious. 
It's actually really good. One bite in. To be honest, I wasn't expecting to like this, but I actually do like it. I'm gonna attempt to eat the rest of this, and I think that's gonna be it for me. I'm not doing it, can't do it. I'll save this for the morning. The apple fritter. And that's a wrap on food uh, for this video. I honestly didn't think I was gonna finish everything to begin with. And if you guys saw the video before this one or the video after this one, you'll understand why as well with. But I finally got to try the McDonald's in Orlando, the biggest McDonald's in the United States. And I thought it was great. I won't be having McDonald's for the next year. That's it, that is it. I don't know how many calories this was, but I probably put it in the title if it was a lot. How much? Do you think it was 10,000? Maybe 12. Maybe 12? Me too, I think that as well. One thing I have to mention, I feel that the McDonald's that we went to today is more expensive than any other McDonald's that I've ever been to. This chicken sandwich, wherever it is, or the chicken sandwich that I ate, that was like $5. That chicken sandwich at any other McDonald's is like maybe $3, maybe even less than $3. The Big Mac alone, just the sandwich alone, $5. Over $5. I may be wrong, but I feel that that McDonald's is the most expensive McDonald's. Uh, maybe the location, maybe because it's the biggest McDonald's. I don't know, but that's what I think. So now with all that said, if you guys did enjoy this video, do me a favor and press that like button furiously. If you're new to the channel, consider subscribing. My camera person does have a YouTube channel. Her link will be in the description for my Espanol followers. And that's all. Thank you guys for watching. Peace, bye. Do I look pregnant? Yeah. A little bit, okay. We're supposed to be done with the video, but. Dolce de leche. Person behind the camera said this is 10 out of 10. And that, they, ooh, wow, these are, for some reason, the photo makes this look so much bigger. Like you look at the photo here, you want some? And you think like, wow, big, but this is tiny. You want one? Here you go. I am full right now, but I promise I'll try this. My nose is still a little stuffy. It's actually it pretty good. It's really good. It would actually really be good in a bowl. Milk in it. In a bowl of cereal. In a bowl of cereal and milk. <laughs> I missed. Uh, no. Missed again. One more. Got it! <laughs> yes. Okay, so these are good. But I can't eat any more of these right now, okay? I'm done. Bye.